Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I am so excited. I have a new course coming out, which is very peculiar, called Surge Remedy Workflow 2018. The idea of this course was to update you on all the latest Lightroom version, Photoshop version, Aurora, uh, Luminar. You know, this software, they have so many updates that my workflow has completely evolved and changed over the last two, three years. And so I did this course taking the opportunity of my latest workshop in Los Angeles, where you are going to be in the seat like if you were on the workshop. The first day we're going to go to the Griffiths Park and that's the first photo we're going to do. Uh, this is a panorama. You can see all the, that's the before and that's the final result, which is like a crazy 20,000 pixel panorama. Then this, we took another panorama as the sun was getting down and that's the before photos. That's the first stitching. And then I was like, I got to get that trees out, which is so complex because the tree is against the city. And I'll show you a workflow in Photoshop to take out the tree and everything that's annoying in a photo to get this result. Then later on, we walked and hiked to get this Terminator view. I call it the Terminator view because that's the view you get on Terminator 1 and Terminator 4, where you have the observatory and downtown comprehensive against it. I'll show you the full retouching to go from this to this. I use Luminar to use some secret advanced contrast and different filters to get this result. The next day we went to the Venice Canal and we didn't have any good sky there. But I'll show you, you know, all the bad framings that I took, all the good framings that I took and also how to replace the skies and how to find the right sky for the right photo. For example, this was kind of like a blue hour type of sky. And then later on, we, we got this you know, sunset type of sky, but I added the clouds to get this result. And choosing the right sky for the right photo is so important. And I'm gonna go over that in details. And then later on, we went to the Venice Beach and got this great sunset photo with long exposure. I'll show you the entire workflow. I use different plugins to get this result. You know, it's really how I work today. Then the next day we went to downtown Los Angeles, starting off at the Walt Disney Concert Hall, where I'm going to show you a new technique. Actually, I took this eight photo of the Walt Disney Concert Hall and believe it or not, Lightroom refused to stitch them into a panorama. So I used another workflow with Photoshop to get this result. I used some Luminar also for some extra sun rays and some extra details and advanced contrast that are really cool. While we were waiting for the sunset in downtown Los Angeles, I shot this portrait of my daughter and my dog, and I decided to make you know, a fine art photography out of it. I have this rule that if the colors are not amazing, go black and white. Uh, I also took a photo of the downtown city hall of Los Angeles and made it into a fine art. You know, as we were walking down the uh, highways, I also shot this photo of downtown Los Angeles, and I used a new workflow to get this really, really fine art dramatic, black and white using some presets in Luminar, which are amazing. So later on that day in downtown Los Angeles, we shot the highways and this is the, um, this is a before photo. I'll show you a technique where you can stack up different light rays to really get this dramatic, you know, highway type of photography. This is another one that we shot a bit later on, the, you know, during the night, that's the before and the after. The next day we went to the nicest beach in California, El Matador Beach. And this is, uh, a normal exposure, this is an underexposure. I'll show you how to retouch X exposure and then to blend them into Photoshop to get this result and then into Luminar to add some advanced contrast to really get a photo that's gonna pop and that's gonna make you popular on the web and on social media. The last project that we did out of the 14 project is a portrait that Kelvin did of me where I show you the whole retouching to get this sort of, uh, you know, contrasty, desaturated look. So in total, you have 14 different projects. I'm gonna give you all the raw files. I'm gonna give you everything. This is my most up-to-date training. You know, it really takes into account all the update that's been done on all the software. This is truly how I work. It's three hours and 15 minutes long. It's got, I'm giving you all the raw files and you got a great release price down below this video. This is one of my most favorite courses ever. And there's just one course you should buy from me. It's this one. Check it out. The Surge Remedy Workflow 2018.